Well guys, it's time to leave Smyrna in the Supercharge F-150. Raining today and there's also a tornado watch for this area. So uh, yeah, I guess it's time to go home. First cold start. Yeah, it is pretty darn windy here. Um, it's not a hurricane that's apparently coming. It's a tornado and I, yeah, I don't really feel like getting stuck in a tornado. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what kind of MPGs I get on the way home. Now the truck indeed is supercharged. We got, yeah, it says 14.9, but I got about 15.2 on the way down here. We did a bunch of pulls yesterday, so that went down. This is obviously not the proper weather to uh, test this truck out, but as soon as it gets dry, whatever state I'm in, we'll have some fun. Nope, nope, not working. <laughs> I mean, the supercharger's working, but the traction's not. <laughs> well, we have it in four high. We got a little uh, on-ramp straight here. Let's do a little, oh, I got a bunch of stuff in the bed too. Oh my god, I swear it does four-wheel spin. <laughs> I can feel it let loose on all four wheels. What? <laughs> Man, this truck is crazy. That wasn't even full throttle. I'm still like afraid to completely punch it. Continue straight for one hour and 21 minutes to I-95 North International Airport, Savannah. truck is up my ass. I don't know what he's in such a hurry for. Dude, you guys delivery or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, 7 o'clock in the morning. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina. Same hotel where I stayed on the way down to Florida. It's time to do the second leg in the supercharged F-150 on our way back home to Pittsburgh. I can't wait to get home, actually. And it's still raining. It was non-stop rain the whole way from Smyrna to Charlotte yesterday, meaning I have zero traction unless I put it in four high. And we need gas. We drove 476.9 miles yesterday. We got 15.2, so I'm actually getting pretty much the exact same fuel economy as I got before getting the truck supercharged. Well, I mean, I mean, that's a positive, I guess. We got a lot more power now and get the same fuel economy. It still sucks, but it is what it is. All right, so we got gas and breakfast. <laughs> Let's get on the road. So we're back in Virginia, back in the mountains, and back to the fog. Man, this, this is horrible. It was the same way when I drove down here, West Virginia and Virginia up in the mountains. Very, very foggy. You can hardly see anything here. 590 miles, we're getting 14.9. You don't say. Look at this. At last, we are home. <laughs> I gotta go inside and take a leak. Well, what do you know? It is the next day. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're doing fantastic. I got home yesterday around 3 o'clock. It was raining nonstop the whole trip. This was 924 miles. I've never experienced this before. I drove from Central Florida all the way up to Pittsburgh. Nonstop rain the whole time. It was just crazy. It wasn't much to film, but bits and pieces. Now, I've been getting tons of questions as well regarding fuel economy. Not that it really matters all that much, but people seem to be very interested in this one thing here. So, let's see. I have driven it a few miles since I got home, but 14.4, it was actually 14.5 when I got home yesterday. Now, during the uh, Florida parts, South Carolina, Georgia, you know, those flat parts, was actually getting 15.2 just like I did on the way down but as soon as you get into a Virginia West Virginia and PA with a lot of mountains up and down it drastically went down you know I also got a lot of questions on Instagram people saying oh did you get home twice as fast because you have the supercharger and everything and I get it you know that's funny the truck is 
stupid fast but here's an issue actually since it was raining the whole way and I know it's a truck and I know it's hard to find tires with really good grip one thing I do know though and I haven't had this issue until the supercharger is that these middle ridge grapplers they're not gonna work I'm gonna need a completely different set of tires uh, I don't know what brand uh, I was almost kinda thinking of maybe going with the street tire Although I don't want that. I like the mud slash off-road tire look a whole lot better, but they have zero grip. Now we're gonna demonstrate this here very, very soon. We're gonna go out for a drive, of course. But when I was driving home, um, and I kinda wanted to punch it here and there, not to go nuts or anything like that, but maybe pass someone, these tires, they just, they, they wanna let loose right away. And the thing is, I mean, I'm not coming up on summer here in PA. We're coming up on three months of winter, so it's gonna be bad grip either way. And when I'm on the highway, you know, I'm not going to be driving in four high at like 80 miles an hour. It's going to be in two high. So it's, you know, two wheel drive. So what we're going to do is, of course, what everyone wants to see, get out on the road, do some pulls, listen to the supercharger and kind of demonstrate this whole, um, you know, grip issue that I have. But before we do that, you might be able to see that we have five different boxes here. Yes, sir. I got brand new wheels from Anthem off-road so this is going on the truck very very soon also and I do apologize if you guys saw my Instagram live stream during my trip home I did uh, explain that I brought the drone down to Florida because I was planning on announcing the winter there and then shipping the drone from Florida but it was so hectic it was so busy so I didn't have time so I'm sorry this is dragging out on time but in the next upload I'm gonna announce the winner of the Mavic 2 zoom let's get out on the road example number one So it's not soaking wet outside, but it's still wet and it's 35 degrees, which is, you know, real life conditions for me right now this time of year. And uh, yeah, it's definitely struggling for traction at all times, which is natural also. But, you know, I, I think we can uh, get the traction a little better with uh, <laughs> different tires. So we're going to turn traction control off. There we have it. And then uh, we're doing about 40 miles an hour here. <laughs> Good God in heaven. <laughs> that was just a constant freaking burnout for 40 miles an hour with traction control off. It just has so much power. Okay, traction control is back on. not filming the speedometer right there but there it did get traction which uh, is nice but that's because the roads are pretty dry at the moment we are getting like tiny little drizzles of snow here Traction control off. Stomp on it from zero. 
zero. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. I mean, the whole freaking truck just gets squirrely. That's insane, man. is I need better tires for you know launches and two-wheel drive of course uh, maybe some long travel suspension get the truck to dip a little better during launches you know we'll, we'll see what we come up with here uh, leave your suggestions and your advice in the comments below but with these tires right here and like I said earlier has not been an issue I love these tires they don't emit a lot of road noise that's why I picked them for a long road trip like I was just on if you hear a tires humming for over 900 miles, I mean, at least me, I, I, I can't, I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to find a tire that has better grip and of course not massive road noise. And if it's a street tire, that's not gonna be an issue. But you know, if you guys know of an off-road tire that has pretty good grip on pavement as well, leave your suggestions because I'm not some tire expert guru. I don't know, especially not when it comes to trucks. I know when it comes to cars and stuff, but not trucks. Now I didn't want to launch a two-wheel drive with traction control completely off until I have traction bars. I'm not risking any wheel hop and you know damaging my axle and stuff like that. So that's definitely coming, but I'm not doing that quite yet. I do have the brand new set of wheels, so I will be getting a brand new set of tires for those wheels as well. I was thinking about just swapping over the tires that are on the current wheels I have, but I'm going to get a new set. So that's why I'm asking you guys for advice regarding what tires to get. A lot of you will probably say, well, just get slicks. That's not what I'm looking to do. I'm not looking to have this truck be a drag racing truck. That's not really why I did the whole supercharger thing. I mean, I'd love to go to the drag strip every now and then, but that's not what the truck is going to be about. So I need some good, you know, all around tires, whether they are, you know, mud terrain tires or just street tires. So I picked up some passengers here. You guys probably <laughs> so recognize this guy. And we have Chris in the back. I'm gonna show him how I have no traction. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, no, no traction at all. So if I turn traction control on, I'll do them from 40 miles an hour like we just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we can put traction bars on. Oh, axle. Yeah, but I'm going to do it after I do the proper lift kit and stuff. It, um, you know, it's useless yeah, yeah. doing it now and then fuck around with that. Hour. I say we put it. Are you leaving? Yeah, ah. I got to bounce. All right, well, final see you. Have a Merry Christmas. All right, you uh -huh. too. All right. Happy holidays. All right, thank Merry you. Christmas. See you soon. Yeah. Your truck's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> And just like that, we are indeed back home. Uh, now, in the future, we're definitely going to set up something where uh, the Raptor goes up against the new supercharged F-150. I mean, preferably, I would want the weather conditions to be a little better before we do that, but it's definitely going to go down. I've had a lot of people uh, suggest that video, which is a great idea. So definitely look forward to that. But that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, leave your suggestions in the comments below regarding what tires... I should get for the F-150 and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe I'll see you very very soon bye bye